Die! You wobbly headed motherfucker, you. <laughs> I finished it. I finished it. That big ass mural. I finished it. There that bitch go. Baby, look at that. I finished it. I was a bitch. That was tough. A lot of work right there. So, look at this. You see all that? <laughs> Let's go to this side. Give it a little breakdown. Still got a lot of mess in front of the wall, but uh, I think you can still pretty much see stuff. Yeah. A lot of ridges. A lot of fluorescent, but now she came to life. She's alive now. So, what exactly did I do? All right, so basically I had to paint the mural twice. When I did the first one, I think I had in my mind that ah, I'm going to just make this big wall on this side of the shop look a little bit more, um, you know, spruced up, a little city-like, give it a nice background, so on and so forth. And what ended up happening was uh, I had grabbed a, um, 
a uh, black light bulb I had sitting over there on the side. And I said, you know what? Let me, let me show my homeboy villain. Yo, check this out. Like if I had my way, I would put a, cause I got some areas that were fluorescent paint, right? And in some of those areas, I said, you know what? It would be sick if I could put at least, you know, some black light uh, lights over it so it can like step it out. And villain being the electric guru he is, he said, let's do it, dog. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, okay, man, what you mean? Like, relax, man. What you mean? What you mean, let's do it? He said, you know what? Let me order. And he said it just like that. He said, let me, let me order some of these black light uh, um, spotlights that they sell. And that little light bulb I had, I don't know, maybe it might have had like, <laughs> like the strength of a, like a candle. These mugs that he put up there, those are like the equivalent of like 20 of them, right? So he ordered off of Amazon and uh, luckily for us, that thing came fast as crap. It came in a day. And in a day, it showed up. When it showed up, that was it, man. That was it. I said, let's go ahead and try a section of it. He put it on there. He, he set them up high. And uh, you can see some of them up on that side. He set it up, and it ended up looking wild, as you can kind of see. Now, this is with the lights on. You understand? So, if... If you want to take them to the gun store, let's just do it like this, then. Bang! You see it? Let's see. Walk with me. Walk with me. Look. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's coming out really well in the camera, but it sure as hell is crazy if you're in here. You see that? Now look. So. Now it really looks like a cyberpunk terminus city, a basically old Atlanta street scene, but that's uh, in almost a fantasy way, rather. Uh, it looks like a street scene, so now all of the uh, artwork looks way more dramatic, and it looks way more neon-like, Bjork reference there. So now, we got it to where we like it, love it, gonna use it a lot in a lot of uh, photos and things of that nature. So you're gonna see this a whole lot more often. And when you do, uh, I probably already would have put the video of me actually painting it and all the steps I uh, went through to do it. But now you'll get a really good final overview of it all. Let's look at it. So. Here in the main area, you know, one of the biggest things that you see as a common thing in uh, uh, some of these cyberpunk slash um, retro future slash Blade Runner type of, of, uh, of uh, uh, art or movies or things of that nature is the um, holographic lady. A lot of times she's Japanese. Don't know why. I guess in the future they uh, they won the the Japanese uh, won that that uh, that influence. So we have a Japanese samurai girl going ah, like doing a little bit of um, a little voodoo, I guess. But they don't do voodoo. But that's uh, in the future they do voodoo. And we got this scary. <laughs> uh, uh, face kind of coming out looking like almost like a evil geisha and there's the samurai girl right and I really wanted that as a central piece in the uh, the middle of the the image because I wanted to kind of have like this almost otherworldly element which that really really uh, <laughs> is an understatement for it. It's creepy almost, right? 
And then here in the middle, that says Kurokumo in kanji, uh, black cloud. Kurokumo is the Japanese way of saying black cloud. And uh, over there uh, on by the door is Kurokumo. And that, for every photo, will have Kurokumo <clears throat> in the background. So, let's see. And of course, let's go over to the, let's go to the left, actually. Let's go to the left. So underneath the samurai girl is my name, Totemu. As you can see right there, Totemu. That's that little uh, sign for me. And BLKCLD, of course, that's the clothing line of ours. And you get to see this little rainbow uh, splash right there. That's that rainbow splash on the, on the alleyway right there, kind of like that. I wanted to put sponsors on some of the sections of the wall and I'm gonna have updated sponsors and things like that so I wanted to put some stuff that not only were they sponsors but they're stuff that we really really like and we always want to put on our cars so you'll see you know SSR wheels, Mark Chow, you know but I threw Bandai on there because I think it's hilarious I think it's hilarious I love Gundams and stuff like that I don't know nothing about Gundams but uh, uh, I like them a lot. Then I put the Infinity Tail Lights because uh, that's one of our products here over at Black Cloud, and uh, the magician, um, Mr. Villain, was the one who makes those. So every time a car parks in front of here, got that posted up. My favorite 8 bit uh, uh, game character, the infamous. Mega Man, that's where he is, right? So I just want to put him in the old school Mega Man because the old school Mega Man was my favorite, the one on the NES. That's the one I remember because I don't play games now, but I still think that's pretty cool. Caffeine and Octane, of course, one of our favorite and most uh, supportive sponsors that uh, have looked out for us and been real good friends with me and the family here at Black Cloud. I wanted to put him up there. Fellini's Pizza, local ATL uh, haunt where a lot of people, a lot of people know Fellini's. It's really kind of like the hometown pizza, you know. Not, uh, not trying to uh, um, put any other pizzas down, you know, but it makes uh, 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 Domino's look real, real bad. Plus, the owner of Fellini's is a great friend of ours. We love that guy to death. His name is Clay. He's the one who gave us so much inspiration to go for this place that we now own. So that's a big shout out to him. Toyo tires, mainly because I always rock Toyo tires. You know, Vengeance, half of my cars right here are running uh, Toyo R888Rs. Of course, TRD, big Wilwood brakes. Of course, the Black Cloud and the Tiger up in the top right there. See him? He's a tiger. We're all waiting in the wings. And uh, that's the corner. And there goes the Kurokumo behind me. So let's go to the other side because there's more uh, people we love. Uh, there you go, the Black Cloud. And that's the kanji for Midnight Club Midnight. And uh, I don't know nothing about Midnight Club, so don't jump on me. I just like it. Uh, there's the burn unit, but it's going downwards. B-U-R-N-U-N-I-T and exclamation point. Underneath that is Hayai. Hayai is uh, fast in Japanese. And of course, money is fast money. Hayai money. Family Mart. I am going to get me a family chicken when I get back home to see family, and that's why Family Mart is right there. Uh, Atoranta. Atoranta. That's where we're at right now, and uh, she's enjoying a uh, iced coffee from Dunkin' because those are my, that's my crack. Uh, and of course, my brothers at arms. Fellow Burn Unit members, my homeboy Ewok One, New York City. You see him, right? And then my boy Gorilla, the Gorilla Gardener, Jolt One, Burn Unit, Denver's finest, Mile High. You know what it is. 
Shout out to my boys. So every time we do something, they're there in spirit at all times. There they go. Uh, and, uh, you know, me, Totemo at the top again, and this little, uh, she's a party, she's a party girl. She parties way too much. Go home, Angela, you're drunk. And then finally, uh, this is the sign, Kenkabancho. Kenkabancho. Now, Kenkabancho is old school, what some people would consider Yankee or uh, old school Japanese, um, some would even say in America, Bozozoku type of, uh, of um, opinion. They, they call it basically uh, the toughest street fighter from your school. Kenka Bancho. Kenka means to fight. Bancho is, means the top. So that's uh, my little Kenka Bancho that I put in there. And, uh, and that's it. That's basically the whole thing. And uh, it goes great in the room. I'm going to cut the lights back on. It goes great in the room. I, uh, I really had a good time painting it. Uh, but not the ridges. <laughs> not the ridges. The ridges were not fun to paint on. But when it comes to doing something that's great in your life, whether it be painting something, starting a business, you know, working on a car, or even painting a mural, you gotta go through the headache, man. You gotta deal with all the bullshit that come with it. And in this situation was ridges. Now you can kinda see how deep they, it was, see? Look how deep the ridges. I'd say it's roughly about an inch, an inch depth in between each uh, ruffle. And uh, including with that, there's pipes, different conduits, you know, random, random things that I had to kind of paint around. And one thing that I like to do is I like to hide that stuff. And uh, so I'll put it on like edges of buildings and things like that. And uh, everything that needs to be done to do that, to make it look as good as it needs to be, you gotta be willing to take the hit, man. And I'm always uh, keen on taking the hit if I have to, to get the job done. And this is mission accomplished as far as us Black Cloud burn units go. And uh, we're very, very proud of how this, going, the, how this came out. Uh, I hope you guys like it. So you'll be seeing more. You know, I can't help but paint on something and do artistic somethings here at Black Cloud and you know, maybe uh, you'll see another mural pop up, which is highly likely, <laughs> but you're gonna have to find out and stay tuned for that. Watch out.